What's happening guys, welcome back. So I wanted to share this video with you guys. I, I thought this was just truly just interesting for me. Um, so I wanted to share this with you guys, like I said. So I did some research the other day and I was looking into silicon, right? Because silicon is used in so many things, right? I think that it's, it's honestly, I, I almost would wanna say one of the great wonders of the world. Silicon is used inside of your cell phone. It's what makes our cell phones and technology work. It's used inside of breast implants. It's used in even even food sometimes as additives, right? It is it is such a unique compound and it is so abundant in the world around us. So that's again a reason why I find it so interesting. So I did some research, I watched a video and I know that this over here maybe doesn't mean a lot to you guys, but it will in just a second. So I'll explain. I did some research on how silicon's made, and obviously that led me down the road to transistors and microchips, right? Because that's how microchips are made, you know, primarily of silicon. It's a very fascinating thing. Um, I'm gonna try and find the videos that I watch and link them below for you guys. Um, but basically, they take sand and and they compress it down, and then and, and then because sand, I think in a lot of in most parts of the world, I think especially in you know, in countries like Africa, um, and when you look at like the Sahara Desert, a lot of that sand is silicon dioxide, is the actual compound makeup. So they separate the dioxide from it, then you're left with silicon, and then that's how they have it. Um, so, so again, this is what is the core component of transistors, which is, you know, how microchips work. Um, transistors are, if not one of, um, maybe one of the greatest, or if not one of the greatest invention of probably the last century. Um, transistors are amazing. They are the reason why all of this complicated technology works. And transistors, you know, are just a series of, you know, these little tiny things that are giving these sort of binary on off one zero signals. And that is what allows, you know, signals and processing power within computers and messaging and all these different things to happen and function throughout the entire world. And it's amazing. Um, this video, I, I just, it dawned on me while I was watching this that it's, it's just so interesting. I mean, it, look, I, like everybody, am always looking for the meaning of life, trying to answer some of these great questions and really understand our world at a core, fundamental level. Um, and I think that this gave me a little bit of insight. So this little graph right here is sort of a, you know, an ugly side version rendition of how transistors work. Um, it is good to watch the video, like I mentioned. Um, to see sort of it, it in action and, and I and uh, you know, I'll do, I'll do my best like I said to link that for you guys But what this shows is how transistors work is positive energy flowing out Negative energy flowing in and then that path of it coming across right here, right? This this positive charge here um, Was not there initially and that and this is really what I want to talk about is as one of the greatest discoveries um, that that again help make transistors work and then how I feel that this, you know, fundamentally applies to us within our own lives. So in the very beginning, when they were trying to make transistors work, they were doing these two, this one here and this one here, which was they were pumping a negative charge in, hoping that a positive charge would come out and nothing would happen down in this area. It just wasn't working. It would just sort of sit idle, right? And nothing was happening. And we were like, what is going on? So they tried a number of different things. They tried, you know, pushing more from one side or the other. They tried you know, throwing a negative charge in. And what we found was that the only thing that actually made these transistors and this process of energy transfer um, and computing power work at this core level was adding just a little bit of stimuli right here in the middle of our own positive charge, right? So if you threw an extra little negative charge here, wouldn't work. So this got me thinking, God, it got me thinking at such a deep level of is, is this us in our own life? And so I have a few points here um, that I wanted that I want to chat about for you guys, because again, like uh, the, the, the longer I've been alive and the more I've been looking into a lot of this stuff, guys, I'm realizing that, you know, at the, A, the fundamentals matter more than anything. Um, and B, even at the very smallest level, if you look into things, that is actually uh, at most times a, a, a good um, gauge of how the world works at a large level um, and so I think we can learn a lot about small structures from looking at big structures and then vice versa so the first point is that this is us this is us in our life right there is you know there's always positive and negative energy existing around us right there's 
there's great people you can run into and then there's people who will suck the life out of your day and and bum you out right and also you've got those negative and positive thoughts probably floating around your head right now and throughout the day all of us have these thoughts sometimes when you know maybe you feel ugly or maybe you feel a little overweight or maybe you just feel like you're in a bad mood or whatever it is right you doubt yourself you doubt your skills um, but but the, the important part to notice or to note here is that these positive and these negative things are flowing around us all the time right and I think the biggest thing for me that was a wake-up was reading you know quite a number of books um, a few years ago and understanding that you know that, that you are sort of that spark in the middle and you have a choice but it was fascinating for me to find that transistors at this smallest level work that same way right so meaning if you don't add this extra little positive stimuli which I think is actually us in the middle right this is us this is humans right here we're that spark in the middle right and then it becomes our choice well do we want to be positive and if we're positive the whole system starts to flow everything works around us and we're working great if you want to apply no charge which is which is the equivalent of you standing still in your life letting things just come to you and happen then well nothing will happen right so I think that that was amazing to find out and I think that we could either be a great link in that chain um, or the reason why progress stops, right? I think many of us have probably seen you know, those, those funny commercials when everyone's paying with card, everyone's paying with card, just dancing in the amazing room and then some guy pulls out cash and then the whole thing's like wah, 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 and it slows down and everyone's sitting there wondering you know, why, why'd this guy ruin, ruin this, you know, this good thing we all had going where it's working smooth. I just I can't stress enough how amazing I found this to be at a fundamental level that for a system like this to work it needs negative energy it needs positive energy but it requires that that human you know added spark of positive energy that makes this whole thing work and then it works amazing and then it works fantastic right and I think that that's true in our own life in in a sense it's like if you can just apply a little bit of positive spark kind of get out of your own way. Um, and, and be, you know, like I said, be that shift and, and you, you realize that you have the power over that decision of whether your life and this system is going to work, but it starts with you needing to have a conscious, you know, purposeful um, application of that positive charge in the middle. I think a lot of people would find life to be uh, a little more interesting. I think that people would find it to be fascinating and that we could make these things work, um, realizing, like I said, that we're the spark in the middle. So I hope that this, uh, you know, again, this is a topic I could probably go endless about and it would be awesome to do like a little podcast, shoot back and forth with somebody on this. But since I found this out a couple of days ago, I've been, I've just been, been pondering over this. Um, and, and I, and, and I think, strongly more strongly about it now uh, or stronger about it now than I did then um, so I hope that this this inspires you guys to do a little research and and look into one of the greatest inventions in human history over the last hundred years which is transistors maybe look into silicone maybe it'll teach you a little bit about you know life in the world around this um, again guys thank you guys so much for your time just want to share a little little two cents with you guys I know it's not uh, not crypto blockchain related for those of you guys who really enjoy that content but um, as a human who likes other things and who who's interested in other things I want to share these cool ideas with you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed like the video subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time thanks